Ready. You ready to fight? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and we hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Trying to get the knees going. All right, he engages in a single ball tie here. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, we talked about that reach advantage. Is oh, yeah, right that left hand. He's got hurt here. Oh, nice right hand. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have landed for Israel out of sight. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Costa gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Real quick leg kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. Ooh. And that one was heavy. Knee to the body. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Whoa! His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the How about those five minutes? Yeah. All right, so there's the end of the round. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Able to check that kick as well. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body. I'm done. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Good stuff. Oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Big knee to the body! Well, he has landed some good shots at DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Adesanya gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh! Oh! oh. After that offer in DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Costa. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He 
he's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Adesanya's back in full mount. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Adesanya's back in full mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into his underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high level grappling, John, from a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship. Oh. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. <laughs> Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Costa. Got the single collar tie. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Adesanya. Ground and pound strike is true. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes he's made. Oh! Oh! He feeds upstairs and lands first. They the land perfect. That is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. 98 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And landing with 69% accuracy against Paolo Costa. Left hand punch from the clinch. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. There's no give on that leg kick. A little single collar tie there. And he comes through with a big knee. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet now. Misses again with a right punch. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body, man. Nasty. Defense there, huge block for him. Right, so, well, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick. Oh, a big what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh, what a fight so far. Ready? 
All right, here's round four, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Just misses with a left hook there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Big knee there to the chest. Oh, straight right. That would land clean. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. All right, well, the strike lands there, so... Oh! Oh! He's gonna land right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Knee to the body. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Ooh, big knee. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's hit. Unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly. And now he's got his opponent hurt. See if he can advance position. Man! And really starting to make these shots count. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Good work from the top here by Adesanya. <laughs> So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, a violent strike to the body. This could be the end. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stop. Oh! And just like that, the 